Ultimate Frisbee, Ping Pong, Comfort Color Shirts, and Yoga Pants. Oh, and I forgot free pizza. That's typically what people think that uh, college ministry is. And um, even though that's partly true, I think there's a lot of meaningful ministry that goes on, especially at uh, William Carey University. Uh, my name is Paul, and I'd love to have the next few minutes to share with you my heart of uh, for, co- for college ministry and, and what has happened to me um, as being someone who's gone through William Carey's college ministry and now working um, for them. Uh, I came as a new student, and I didn't know anyone, and I had a lot of guys and a lot of um, faculty and staff and the campus minister really pour into me and teach me what it looked like to be a follower of Jesus um, and to have a renewed relationship with him. And so uh, William Carey's BSU has, a, has meant a lot to me. And now working on staff for them, um, it's been neat to kind of revamp some things and, and, and kind of cast a new vision. And so um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about that. So our vision is to glorify God um, by equipping students to win their community, uh, their campus, and the nations for Christ. Um, and we do that in a couple different ways. Uh, one way we do that is through evangelism and discipleship. Uh, so we have what they call a leadership development or a lead team. And so we have about 12 students uh, who are responsible for really being the hands and feet of our ministry. Uh, we'd rather the, the faculty and the staff and the campus community not really be attached just to the ministers, but also to its students, its body. And so we spend one-on-one time and discipleship time really training them uh, how to do that. Um, and so that actually goes into our next one. We uh, evangelize and uh, disciple through uh, missional communities. And so we train our lead team to lead healthy missional communities on our campus. They uh, serve our campus at different campus events. They volunteer at sporting events. And they do everything that like maybe an SGA would do, a student government would do. Uh, but they partner alongside them and do ministry with them. Uh, and so it, it's been kind of cool to see them do that. Um, another way uh, that we do that is through just our basic campus outreach. And one of the one of those two are uh, Priority Lunch, which is a free lunch for students provided by local churches. And students really enjoy a home-cooked meal. It's a break from the cafeteria, if you know what I mean. Um, and secondly, we have what they call Campus Link. Um, and that's just a weekly worship service where uh, different students gather together. They pray together. They sing together. Um, we study the Word together, and we challenge them to go and reach uh, the campus. Um, secondly, we're really missions focused. And one of the unique things is, is William Carey is very diverse and has lots of cultures. And so it's a great opportunity to um, not only reach Americans, but also take those Americans or, or, or internationals and reach other Americans and internationals who are going to go back home. And so that's this really cool opportunity to get involved in missions at William Carey. Uh, we also have a summer missions program and are very heavily involved internationally. Um, and so we have a partnership where students can go through the Mississippi Baptist Convention and serve anywhere they want for the summer for two months. Um, and so it's just a really exciting uh, way for students to give up their summers and uh, to reach the nations uh, for Christ. Uh, lastly, we do this by local church involvement. Uh, we always make it a point to encourage our students who are um, believers to be involved in the local church, but also unbelievers, to go check them out, to give them a shot, to um, go with a friend, to go check out what's going on in our community and not just on campus. And so uh, we know that that's a way um, for them to be better equipped, but also uh, to really fulfill um, the scriptures and really have them plugged into the local church and, and serve in there. Um, and so what are our goals? Um, we want, upon graduation, for a student to have a heart surrendered um, to Christ, um, to be able to live a gospel-centered life, make gospel-centered decisions. Um, and also, uh, we pray that they would be um, servants of the local church, members of the local church. And so uh, how can you get involved? How can you as a church, uh, how can you as a, um, a ministry get involved in ours? Um, and so I would say pray. I would say pray for our staff as we pour into our leaders. Um, Pray for our leaders as they pour into other students. Um, And just pray for opportunities for them to really share the gospel and for students to respond in faith. Um, Secondly, I ask that you would give, um, not only financially, um, not only to help students go to the nations and and send students out this summer, um, but I ask that you would also give in your time um, and anybody at your church who can cook. Uh, one of our main ministries that brings the masses in is our free meal, and so that's an opportunity for you to love on them, um, to invite kids to your church, um, but also share the gospel with them and serve them and give them a break from the cafeteria. Um, and lastly, I ask that you would go. And that sounds kind of strange, but I ask that if you do have um, people in your church who are um, 
you know, kind of wondering what life as a college student is like. They want, they have a heart to reach college students. I say, we, we want them on campus. Uh, we want your college pastors on campus so that we can partner alongside them and, and expose them to students and give them opportunities um, to really um, share the gospel with different students on campus. And so thank you for your time. Um, it's been a pleasure.